Hi, welcome to the workshop. Today we're going to be talking about rotary tools. Specifically about the way that you fix the burrs and the drills and the brushes and all the tools into this one of these rotary tools. And I'm going to show you an alternative method from the type of, of fitting that's supplied with the tool itself that you might find a bit more convenient. I've got three types of rotary tool. I've got two types of Parkside tool. Uh, a cordless and a 240 volt rotary tool and I've also got a flex drive running off of my Ferrex bench grinder which I think is a great tool but all of them come fitted with the same system for holding the burrs and the tools in the end of the machine essentially you have collets and here here are my collets and because I've got two makes of machine, the Parkside and the Ferrex. I've actually got two sizes of collet. The, um, the, the Ferrex collets are actually slightly wider, they're 4.8 mil in the shaft size and the Parkside ones are 4.3 mil shaft, so they're not interchangeable. The, the way they work is that you, you have a brass collet like this and that fits in the end of the tool and then you have a collet nut that fits over and you tighten it up and you fit your burr or your brush or your drill or any sort of tool in it and you tighten it up and normally you would expect to tighten it up using a little spanner although I find I don't bother anymore I just hand tighten them and they work perfectly well. The problem with this method is that there are so many different sizes of, of shaft size on the different tools. I've got three different sizes here, but I think in total I've got about six different sizes and drill sizes and what have you. So if you're doing a job where you're constantly changing between the, the different types of tool, you realise that you're then constantly changing the collet. You have to undo this like this take the collet out and then find the right collet size that fits the tool you're using just happens to be that one pull it out of your collection of and screw the collet nut on again and fit the tool in and you have to do that each time you change the type of tool you're using so it can be a bit tedious but there is another way of doing it and what I've got here are universal collet chucks. Now I've got these in two different sizes. My Parkside tools are six, uh, seven mil, sorry, the Parkside tools are seven mil and the Ferrex tool is an eight mil. The Ferrex tool incidentally comes with exactly the same type of fitting as the Parkside tools but as I say the collets are bigger. So let's take that off for now. Now a universal chuck fits straight onto the end of the tool and then it will fit any size of, of tool that you want to put in it. As you tighten it up it acts exactly like a drill chuck. The, the little teeth come up and grip the tool. So if I show you, if I put, I think this is a three mil shaft with a burr, a diamond burr with a three mil shaft, you just simply tighten it up by hand and that holds and it does work. It holds perfectly well in use. And to loosen it, you just loosen it off, take the shaft out. Now here's probably the smallest one I've got that I use regularly. It's one and a half mil. It's a little diamond drill. And you simply screw that in. 
put it in a bit further than that and you tighten it up and you use that so while you're working as I say on jobs where you're constantly changing between different sizes of tool and different sizes of burr perhaps between brushes and stone burrs and what have you you don't have to keep finding a new collet it's also the case incidentally that the collets wear I don't know if you can see this one but there's a collet there and this is the largest size of tool I've got and you can see it's wiggling around a lot and what happens is when the diamond burr or any kind of burr kind of jams up it whizzes round and these being soft brass or soft metal white metal they get larger and at some point they fail to grip now as I say on my ferrex flex drive the size is 8 mil so it has a different size of um, universal collet but it works exactly the same way as you tighten it up you simply put it in and that's got that and that is probably about two and a half mil and this is a three mil shaft you see it won't fit in there until I loosen that up and it fits in and you tighten it again by hand um, with this um, flex drive you've still got to use a pin for holding the shaft while you tighten up and loosen but uh, nonetheless now I use them quite a bit but I don't use them exclusively you would think because they're so convenient that I would use them all the time but they do have one disadvantage which is the size if you compare this universal chuck with the width of this standard chuck nut you can see that one that the universal one is much bigger and you can see the effect of that on the edge of this nut this used to be black and it's well worn so when you're doing any fine work and you're coming at something at an angle you find the chuck rubbing on the work you're doing especially if you're stone carving which is my field of interest so they're not the total answer but they are pretty good now i bought these off of ebay as i say one one size was listed as M7 fine thread, which I haven't come across before. And the other one was listed as M8 fine thread. And they fit perfectly well and they work really well. And I do use them a lot. And I, I only paid, you know, two or three quid each for these. They were really cheap. I've seen comments where people say they're not very well made and uh, you know they fall apart and I'm sure that might be true if you gave them a lot of really heavy use but then they don't cost a lot of money either so I think they're really good value for money and I think they should be in everybody's toolbox if you use a rotary grinder of any description because I think these also fit things like Dremel and Proxon and things like that I don't know that but I think it I think they're a good addition to your toolkit. Thanks for watching. I hope this is useful and I hope it helps you out. If it is, please give me a thumbs up. And if it was useful and you want to see more about rotary tools and grinding and stone grinding and what have you, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll get all my latest videos on different types of things to do with stone carving and rotary carving. Thank you for watching.